Good morning, Scorpio. I forgot what we were on already. Um, this is Renee, and this reading will be for December 1st through the 15th, and I apologize that the readings are running late. Um, life happens. Hey, I apologize. I'm sorry. But let's get into this. Okay, what do we have for... Scorpio. Okay. At the bottom we have wish upon a star. So yeah, Scorpio, I feel like a lot of your wishes are coming through at the moment. Now we have body and soul. Birds of a feather. And quiet in the mind. So I feel like you're surrounding yourself by people at the moment, Scorpio. I feel like your girls, your guys, um, your friends, family. I feel like people are around you. I feel like you don't have much time to yourself. Um, but I feel like it, it's a good thing. I feel like they're there to support you. They're there to give you a good time. But I also feel like, Scorpio, that you really need to focus on your body and your soul and quiet in your mind. So I feel like um, you need to focus on your alone time as well. I feel like maybe you should take some solitude. Um, maybe you should really focus on taking care of yourself for a moment too. Even if you like take a spa day, take a warm bath, uh, take some time to meditate, rejuvenate, um, some some way of recovering um, and resting yourself. Because I feel like you are spreading yourself out around so many people. Okay, Scorpio, you have, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Yeah, so use your power, Scorpio. I feel like you are you are very powerful at this time, and you may not even realize it. And now you have Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life missions. Yeah, so I, I really feel, Scorpio, that you're the person right now that people are really coming to when they need advice or when they're looking for answers and uh, just be careful because sometimes that can take your energy as well it's always good to give advice and help others nurture um, show others their power because like it says it's safe for you to be powerful you know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Yes, yeah, so I feel like your advice actually helps people through whatever challenges that they're going through. But also make sure to use your power for yourself, Scorpio. Make sure to maintain some power. Okay, let's take a look at Moonology. What does Moonology have to say? Okay, we have surrender to the divine, full moon. Yeah, so I feel like you're very spiritual at this time. Um, you also have have faith in your dreams, the waxing crescent moon. Yeah, so I, I, I really feel like... I really feel like you're the focus of attention right now, Scorpio. Very interesting. But as I'm doing your reading, I, I feel an excitement. I feel exuberated, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's how you're feeling right now or if that's what's to come. But I feel very, very excited. Not excited, anxious, 
but excited like wow. What do we have for Scorpio for December? What messages do we have for Scorpio for December 1st through the 15th? Okay, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Page of Wands, two pages, so a lot of communication coming through, and you have the Ace of Swords. Now the Swords is all about communications and thought processes too, so I feel like there's so much communication coming your way, Scorpio. What is this? The Ace of Wands, okay. The Two of Wands. The Ace of Cups. Okay, can we get another Ace in here? That would be a really uh, a fool's journey on here. We have the Death card. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the Eight of Wands. Now the Eight of Wands is also communication. So yeah, I feel like you're gonna have a lot of communication coming through um, during the month of December, Scorpio. Um, I believe that I believe that these are different people, but I feel like each one maybe you're communicating with. Now at the bottom you have the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like the energy that you're not seeing right now is that you're working really hard. I feel like you're trying to be patient, but I feel like all these people are coming at you with communication. And it may not be negative communication. It may just be that there's so many people looking to have your opinion, looking for your advice. It may be overwhelming. And I feel like it's kind of putting you, it's pulling you in two directions. That's what I feel like. I feel like it's pulling you in two directions, Scorpio. Uh, but you definitely have so many cards for a new beginning. All of these cards depict change and a new beginning, a new start to a situation, some kind of new love, new communication, new creative energy new projects, new inspiration. All of these cards are beginning something new, as well as this one. The death card also in, indicates that you're transforming into this change that you need to go through. So you definitely have a new beginning here. Something's coming through that's totally new. I feel like whatever steps that you're taking, Scorpio, I feel like that that's the excitement that I was feeling is the excitement of this new journey that you're going on. This these new vibrations, these new transformation. I feel like whatever changes this is, this is huge. 
this is huge. And I feel like it's, it's kind of like a roller coaster with the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I feel like it's kind of like a roller coaster. You're going up the roller coaster and down the roller coaster. It's like you're, you're having very big highs and very low lows. I feel like at one point you're very excited and at another point you're very kind of reserved and um, kind of anxious, worried. Very interesting, Scorpio. Let's get a little bit of clarification for this. Let's get some clarification for Scorpio. What is this energy? Um, December 1st through the 15th. Can we have clarifying cards for the Page of Cups? Clarify the Page of Cups, please. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, so you're you're definitely I feel like if this isn't someone coming to you for love advice, I feel like this is something new that you're drifting into. That that's the word I want to say. You're drifting into this new love offer, this new communication. Maybe they're They're texting you. Hmm. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Strength card. So whatever this new beginning is, it's a courageous step for you. This is something that's going to lead to unconditional love. I feel like she has courage to follow whatever path she needs to follow. She has courage to take a look and see what is unknown or uncharted. What is this page of wands? The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Scorpio, so whatever communication this is, whatever someone is trying to talk to you about, it may be about a job. It may be something that makes you feel more independent. It may be something that will help you promote yourself in a certain way. But I feel like whatever this is, it's like you're gaining. Hmm. What's the Ace of Wands? The Ace of Pentacles. And that's the last ace that we needed. So this is definitely a very new beginning. I feel like you're on a brand new path. This is definitely a brand new journey. This is somewhere that you haven't been before. I believe that this is that huge change. That shift in your energy that brings in everything that you wished for, Scorpio. This is that huge change that you've been looking for. What is this Two of Wands energy? The King of Cups. Okay, now you have the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups to communication. Okay, so yeah, this definitely could be something that Someone's coming in. Someone's coming in, Scorpio. And I feel like with this King of Cups energy, 
Yeah, this is someone that you thought wasn't even possible. Hmm. With the Ace of Cups, you have the Two of Swords. Yeah, so with this new love, with this new love that's coming in, new passion, new excitement, you're kind of doubting it a little bit. You're kind of doubting that it's real. It's time to take the blinders off and step out of your comfort zone. Take a chance. Make a decision to move in that direction, Scorpio. I feel like you, you're really wanting, well, what I feel like is that you've been wanting this. This is something that you've dreamed of. This is the huge change, the huge steps that you understand are life changing, but you're very anxious about it. And you're worried if you're making the right decision. Don't worry, Scorpio. Trust in your intuition. Trust in your intuition. Um, I feel like you are transforming yourself into this new possibility. I feel like this person um, makes you feel totally and utter, utterly brand new. They make you feel fulfilled. With this death card, you have the Eight of Cups. So yeah, I feel like what it is that you're walking into, you're walking into your contentment. This transformation, this huge change that you're going through is taking you over the mountain. Um, and you're walking from your Eight of Cups. You're leaving what it is that no longer serves you behind. And you're walking into your Nine of Cups moment. I feel like you're walking into your contentment. What is this Nine of Swords energy? Please clarify this Nine of Swords. Clarify this energy, please. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you'll have less worry and less anxiety by finding balance. That's with this quiet in your mind and focusing on your body and soul, surrendering to the divine, finding your power, Scorpio. If you find balance and prioritize um, your situation, set your priorities, your boundaries, and that will ease your mind enough to where you'll be able to make a better decision about the situation. Um, it'll help you focus to listen to your intuition. What is this Eight of Wands energy? Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. The Ace of Swords again. Yeah, so whatever this communication is, I feel like this communication is coming to you with the very truth. Um, you also have the Page of Cups on the bottom, so I believe that's another offer coming in. Someone is really pushing that communication onto you they are really wanting to get that message into you so that you totally see them scorpio i feel like this person really wants to be seen and they feel like you haven't noticed them yet but you have the ace of swords twice so i feel like whatever this this is i feel like is totally mind altering. I feel like you're going to feel like your whole thoughts, your whole feelings, your whole, um, I want to say that you make a whole shift in your perspective. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting, Scorpio. You have my excitement up, for real. Okay, 
I have, I am the loving energy of the universe. Yeah, the universe is letting you know they have your back. Your spirit guides, your angels, the universe, they have your back. They are flowing into you that positive energy that you need in order to bring this to life. Yes. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. Thank you, universe. Beautiful message. And you also have, I create mindful moments throughout the day reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. Yeah, so this is definitely coming to you, Scorpio. This is such a beautiful message. Beautiful message. I'm so anxious to hear what you have to say in the comment section. Now, if this, if you made it this far and um, this message is for you, in the comment section, type claim it in the comment section, Scorpio. And now this is the end of your reading, but feel free to like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to take a look at your sun, moon and rising for more clarity on your situation and have a wonderful month, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Love and light.